Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you tuned in today because we're doing a review. I love doing reviews. And I finally decided to pick up this particular product since it just recently became available at Sephora. It's been available on the company's website for about a month now, but I waited for it to get to Sephora. Gotta get my points, gotta get my little samples. So I waited for it to show up at Sephora, which is where I purchased mine. And it is the brand new Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And there are two shades in translucent light and translucent deep. Yes, you heard that right, translucent deep. Obviously, Cover FX is sticking true to their motto, their philosophy of providing tones that cater to everyone. So they decided to do two shades of their translucent powder, one for lighter skin tones and one for deeper skin tones, which is fantastic. So let's get right into the review. Okay guys, you know I always start off with price. So first and foremost, I purchased this at Sephora for $42 Canadian. Those of you in the US can get it for $35. And like I said, there are two shades, Translucent Light and Translucent Deep. So for both uh, jars, you are getting 0.35 ounces or 10 grams, which is a considerable amount of product. That is gonna last you quite a long time. It is good for 12 months. And if you didn't know, Cover Effects is a Canadian company, so it's made in Canada. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you the rundown of what Cover FX claims this powder is all about and what it's supposed to do for you. So it's supposed to be ultra translucent, work on every skin tone, like I mentioned, two shades, so they've covered everyone. Translucent light, Cover FX recommends to be suitable for Cover FX shades zero to 60. Uh, they number their shades. So the 0 to 60 shades and 60 um, I have noticed to be very comparable to an NC40 uh, shade if you guys are familiar with the MAC uh, type of shade system and the translucent deep is for medium deep to deep skin tones covering the cover effects shade range of 70 to 125. They use amino acid coated mica instead of talc. That is really big. The majority of powders on the market today will contain talc and Cover Effects is one of the few companies that actually do not add talc in any of their products. So if you're looking for a talc free powder, this is it. So the amino acid coated Mica also makes it softer and smoother feeling and looking on the skin. It sets your makeup for long wear. It gives a matte finish, water resistant. It minimizes transfer. It diffuses the appearance of pores and it is great for baking. That's really important too to note. Many powders on the market do not claim one way or the other whether they are good for baking and we all know baking is a huge deal right now. So Cover Effects does state that it is a great baking powder and it doesn't look chalky or ashy. It is clinically tested, gluten, mineral oil, talc free, vegan, and it gives an airbrushed finish to the face. So now I'm gonna go into giving you my personal opinions on how I tried this powder out and the results that I got. <clears throat> so when I tried out these powders, and I'm gonna let you know now, I did try out both shades. I purchased both for the specific purpose of trying both. And in my experience, I did absolutely find it to be an extremely ultra lightweight powder that did give a matte finish, but it is not a matte looking powder on the skin, which is really interesting. You do get a nice matte finish, but because there are light reflecting particles included in the powder, and you can see it when you put it on your face, you can see 
those light reflecting particles. It's not glitter, it's not shimmer, it is truly just a light reflecting type of a sheen. Very, very minimal sheen because the matte finish still is evident, but you can also still see that very beautiful light reflecting type of an inner glow that it does give your skin, which is really, really nice. I did find in comparing the translucent light to Laura Mercier, they are extremely similar powders. And if any of you out there have already experienced trying Laura Mercier, I'm sure you know that it is a extremely soft powder, very finely milled, and cover effects is as well. And I would have to say, if you have had trouble with Laura Mercier being too drying, which is a common complaint that I've heard so many times, Cover FX is going to be a really amazing alternative for you because it is nowhere near as dry as Laura Mercier can sometimes be. In terms of the coloring, the coloring is pretty much spot on between the two, Cover FX and Laura Mercier. The, the color is an off-white beige uh, sort of tint and when you apply it to the skin it doesn't leave any sort of white ashy type of uh, residue behind at all. So I just really quickly wanted to read a quote direct from Cover Effects's Instagram that I thought was really great when someone I believe asked about why they uh, came out with a deep shade if it's translucent why does it have that sort of coloring to it? And this is what Cover Effects said. We created a deep translucent shade since typical translucent powders only come in a light shade and can sometimes look ashy or gray on deeper skin tones. And that's absolutely true. Many, many deeper toned ladies and gentlemen have complained for years about how crazy some translucent powders can look on the skin. And let me tell you, this powder is the answer to your prayers. This translucent deep shade is going to be perfect. It does not give any coverage. It is a translucent powder that is designed to just set your makeup and give it that longevity throughout the day. It doesn't deposit any coverage, any intense cover of color onto the skin. One thing that I will uh, mention though is even though cover effects suggests that their shades 0 to 60 are best suited to the translucent light shade I would take it just a little bit further because I actually own one of their foundations the natural uh, finish foundation that I love and if you've seen previous videos you know that my shades are G60 and G70 I mix those two because I'm an NC44, I can get into NC45 if um, it's the summertime and I get a little bit darker. So I'm gonna actually say if you are NC45 or lighter, stick with the translucent light. The translucent deep has the potential to maybe give a little bit of a darkening effect to your skin. If you're deeper than NC45, stick with the dark. The dark will be perfect for you. So I definitely experienced it locking in my foundation all day long, no fading, no white cast. I'm gonna insert some photos that I took with a flash using both the light and the deep, no flashback issues, which is fantastic. That's what we all want. I definitely feel like it did leave a very natural matte finish, but like I said before, it is matte, but you see those light reflecting particles, you know, giving your face that life and dimension. It is not a flat matte look that you're gonna get from this powder. As far as the mattification properties of the powder goes, even though it does give you a nice matte finish, I don't necessarily consider it a particularly mattifying type of powder. You definitely should wear a mattifying primer or use a mattifying foundation if you are oily or combo oily because I used my Cover FX uh, Natural Finish Foundation which is, as the name suggests, a natural finish foundation. 
all the days that I was testing out this powder and I did see my oils start to come through in a couple of hours because whenever I'm testing anything new, I really like to not use any primers or if I do, I'll only prime half of my face to compare how the product works. So definitely if you're oily or combo oily, use um, a primer definitely in your t-zone at least so in conclusion guys i am completely in love with these powders and i highly recommend that you give them a try especially if you've tried other translucent powders and you haven't been satisfied with the results this is a really really beautifully well done translucent powder by cover effects and if you are familiar at all with the brand, you'll know that they do have other powders, and that was another popular question I saw all over Instagram. How does this differ from the other powders that they have, which is their matte setting powder and their illuminating setting powder? So of course, as the name suggests, Cover Effects is on point with their names. The matte setting powder obviously is designed for oil control as well as giving a matte look to the skin. It helps to control oils. This powder does not claim to do that at all. And of course, on the other end of the spectrum, the illuminating powder is designed to give a very um, soft, luminous finish to the skin. So those two powders that Cover Effects already has are totally separate from this one. This is a true translucent setting powder that is designed just to set your makeup and have it last all day and give you a flawless airbrushed finish. So that's it guys. I hope you got all the information you need to know about this product. Let me know if you've already purchased it or you're thinking about purchasing it and let me know how it worked out for you. So please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!